Hello ladies and gentlemen and I welcome you to a new video of Technical Chaji. This is the time of the Sunday and on Sunday we talk about the top news in the technology world which has made the buzz into the Indian market over the last week. So without wasting time, let's get straight into the video. What a week it has been. We have seen the top launches from the top companies and some of the new features have been introduced into your apps and into the Indian market. So the first update which is coming up is from the Huawei P30 Pro and the Huawei P30. It has been launched outside of the Indian market but the Indian market we are going to see this phone in the month of April. And if I talk about this phone it's coming with your Qin 980 processor. It's coming with your 40 megapixel rear camera setup plus 20 megapixel of plus 8 megapixel a triple rear camera setup on the back and on the front we are able to see the tear down notch yes it doesn't coming up with your pop-up camera or any kind of a punch or tennis it's coming with the traditional tear down notch and the front camera is being supported by the 32 megapixel if i talk about the special feature of this phone this phone is coming with your wireless charging up to 40 volts and if more talk about the more about this phone and the price is being especially been talked about it's approximately around 1000 euros and 1000 euros approximately in Indian market claims around 78,000. So let's see in the month of April that at what price range this phone is going to launch into the Indian market. So the next update is coming up is from the Xiaomi. The Xiaomi has outcased or man, a video has been leaked over the YouTube and it's the double folding phone has been leaked over the YouTube from the Xiaomi and it shows that the folding phone is just not a quick the folding phone it will be a double folding phone which will be done as per this delete video and we will hope that this is the actually the Xiaomi foldable phone so let's hope in the future we are able to see what kind of phone actually been launched from the Xiaomi so the next update is coming up is from the OnePlus the OnePlus 7 case has been leaked over the net and as per this leak case which you are showing right now in your screen the pop-up camera is going to be your front camera on this OnePlus 7 the same pop-up camera we have seen in the Vivo V15 and in the Oppo phones. So let's hope that this pop-up camera will be the same which we are seeing in the Oppo and Vivo phones. And if I talk about the rear camera, the rear camera we are able to see the triple rear camera setup. So a unique design and something new from the OnePlus we are going to see in the month of May. So the next update is coming up is from the YouTube. The YouTube music app has been launched previous to previous week but now if you have an mp3 stored on your phone you can simply use your youtube music app to play that music but how you can use that if you have an mp3 just press it over the going with your file manager on your phone and once the option comes that way from which player you want to actually listen to that music you can use this youtube music app and can play your music right now on from your phone so let me know in the comment below whether you're still using the YouTube music app or any kind of Google Play music or your traditional any kind of app which has been provided by your device. So the next update is coming up is for the digital marketers as we said or for the online marketers. Now if you search anything kind of app in your app store, I just talk about your Apple app store only. Now you're able to see the top ads from your in your Apple App Store. Like suppose after searching for your any kind of a photo app, if I search for any kind of photo app with the organic listing over the Apple App Store, now I'm able to see an ad on the top. The same kind of ad which we're seeing in your Google Play Store as well. So the next update which is coming up is for the Google Photos. Now you can scan, crop, and can do a wonders to your any document which are scanned using your Google Photos. Now this feature is available in the Google photo which we talked about in the last year in the month of May from the Google I.O. event. Now you can use this feature right now in your Google photo app. Just you need to update that app right now in your phone and with this crop and adjust feature now your documents look more kind of a scanned image only. So the next update which is coming up is from the MI, the MI shoes, the MI headphones and the MI USB cable, two even actually USB cable is going to be sailed from the 4th of April. If I talk about the shoe price, the shoe price is approximately going to be around 3000 rupees and the MI Bluetooth headphones is approximately around 1500 rupees. 
and the USB cable is approximately around 150 to 200 rupees. So let me know in the comments below whether you are interested in buying out the MI shoes or not. So the next update which is coming up is from the Oppo Reno. The Oppo Reno case has been leaked over the net and as per the case you can see that it is going to come with a unique pop-up camera. Not a, just a pop-up camera, a sliding pop-up camera sort of thing is going to be offered from this Oppo Reno. So let's see in the month of April that what kind of phone we are going to see from this Oppo Reno. So the next update is coming up is from the Motorola. The Motorola G7 and the Motorola One has been launched into the Indian market. And if I talk about the Motorola G7, it's coming with your Snapdragon 632. It has a 12 plus 5 megapixel camera setup on the back. And on the front, you're getting the 8 megapixel camera. If I talk about the price, you just can't assume the price. The price is approximately around 70,000 rupees. And at that 70,000 rupees, we have many much better phones which are available from various companies. So I don't recommend anyone to buy this Motorola phone. If I talk about the Motorola One, the Motorola One is coming with your Snapdragon 625. It has a rear camera setup of 13 plus 2 and on the front you're getting the 8 megapixel camera. And if I talk about the price, the price of Motorola One is approximately around 14,000 rupees. Overall, the design is very much unique and that's it. I don't recommend to go for any user if you want to buy the Motorola phone. Just stay away from this Motorola phone. You have many other options from the Redmi Note 7 Pro or even the latest one which is going to launch in the month of April which is the by the name of Realme 3 Pro. Just stay away from this Motorola brand. So the next update is coming up is from the WhatsApp. Now if you forward any message to the WhatsApp group, earlier it was showing just the forwarded messages. But now if you frequently forward that message to many groups, it will show as a frequently forwarded message. Yes, on the top you are able to see that it is the frequently forwarded. So let me know in the comment below whether you are still able to see only the forwarded or you are able to see this latest update which is by the name of frequently forwarded. So the last update which is coming up is for the Realme Pro devices, the Realme 2 Pro, the Realme U1, the Realme C1 and the Realme 1 device. All these phones are getting the March update and is this update there is nothing too much talk about. It's just that your security patch is going to update with your March. That's it. Nothing more new, nothing new feature, nothing no night vision, nothing it. All these kind of updates, your G cam, your nightscape mode, everything will be coming with your color OS feature, which is going to be available with your Android 9, Android Pie, and which is going to be launched by the July of 2019. So that's all from this edition of the weekly tech news. So if you like this video, give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for such interesting videos. And I see you in the next one.